Hello. So this is the video in continuation with our previous videos uh, where we are talking about SAP Central Finance configuration. And in this, uh, before we go to this video, just want to give you overview that we have already 14 videos available on CFIN config and which includes, uh, you know, all the areas within CFIN IMG. So we have 11 and then we have 12 profit center, 13 cost estimate. And on 14, we talked about introduction to CFIN uh, central payments. And in this video, we will be talking about uh, handling of historical open items. So it is in continuation to central payments that when we do uh, historical open items, when we do activate central payment, how the open item work, because of course, at any point, if you activate central payments, you have the open items like vendor invoices and the customer invoices in the system, how to manage those. So the first is preparation. So what does it mean? Historical open items are the open item that were posted in source system before central payment was activated, as I just mentioned. In central finance system, when central payment is not activated, down payments are transferred from source system to CFIN system by ongoing replication. And the information related to sales order is removed from the down payment that does not exist in central finance system. So it is specifically about down payment that uh, when you when central payment is not activated, uh, then down payments are transferred via ongoing replication. But when central and the information related to sales order is removed, as CFIN does not have sales order detail. Now the next part is update down payment in sales sales order in update down payment in, uh, with sales order information. So in central finance, when central payment is not activated, sales order information in JEs uh, generated in billing in, uh, in SD process will be removed. Using this report, down payments are updated with those sales order related fields, which include uh, VBEL2, PUSN2, and ETEN2 in CFIN system by retrieving the relevant information from the source system. So what it does is when you execute this report, SAP will run a report, the, the data fetch in the source system based on the source system here you gave the central company code for which particular fiscal year and then you give the server group and the package size you have to these two items you have to check it with your basis team how much uh, what server group you have to use in particular environment and what the package size you might use 1000 or you might use 10 or you might use 100. And then, of course, there is an option to run it in the test mode to ensure you, you just validate some data. And after uh, executing in test mode, when you are comfortable, it will take some time. So then you execute it. So what it does is you simply bring out the sales order information uh, on the down payment documents. So that's an activity which happens here. And it, it will happen to those uh, which were down payment were created before central payments. And then when the, when the system first selects all down payment uh, and how it works is uh, system first selects all the down payment in which sales order fields are empty. So that's what I said. It goes to source system, it selects and then locate the specific source system according to the header information and remotely retrieve the value of the sales order related field. And finally, the down payment in the central finance system, table BSEC is updated with information related to sales order. So it updates in BSEC as well as in CFIN AC Docker table, it's updated. So that's how the, it's a long process. It goes in the source system via connection, it fetches the data and then it brings into the CFIN system. And the next part is update relationship between down payment and sales order. So what happens here? So once uh, system fetches in the previous step uh, and sales order information, uh, which is the log table is there, FIN, CFIN, SD, DPLG. Then the down payment log table displays the relationship between down payment item and the sales order item. It is like, you know, it's a simple table that X is equal to Y. So X is the down payment information and Y is the sales order number, which is it gets from the source system, which makes it possible for the source system to fetch the information. However, the historical items open SD down payment item, which are generated before C central payment activation, were replicated to CFIN are not recorded in the down payment log table. So it's important to understand that there is there is a data for which uh, central payment uh, before central payment activation, uh, there is no a down payment recorded in the log table and is missing, missing in billing in the source system in the billing document. You use this report in CFIN system to update down payment log table with historical data, historical open sales order related down payment item. So you execute this report 
again you select the source system you select company code you give packet size and then you give fiscal year and if you have the document number from and to range you give that if not you can leave it it is not a mandatory field and then you execute it so that's very important information that uh, how you handle the historical open item so it, it mostly related to down payments and related to APR invoices we have already mentioned the clearing process uh, another video is available uh, how to handle the, uh, the clearing uh, transfer process before before central payment activation and post central payment activation and then this video will give you information how down payments uh, and documents are managed which and where the information of sales order is missing and how to fetch that information bring it to be second ec docker table so that all the details are available in uh, sales orders that's all for today and then next video which will be video number 16 we will talk about sepa mandate uh, which is how to configure sepa which is mostly for single euro payment area and then how to replicate sepa uh, how the data movement will happen from the sepa maintenance from ecc to so uh, cfin system that we will cover in next video which is video number 16 and do not forget to like subscribe and share the videos uh, please feel free to put your comments questions you have for me I will try to address those in the next uh, videos and also if you think anything needs to be changed anything needs to be updated or if you have any specific topic feel free to let me know and I will be happy to share information on that and do not forget to subscribe the channel that's very important thank you so much